In the following video, you can learn how to create this turn baluster which is shown in the picture. We have already drawn the profile of the baluster on the layout, but as you can see, only the half of the curved parts has been drawn. This will be important because we will create the 3D elements as solids of revolution. Select the baluster and on the Edit tab of the ribbon bar select the Copy command. Give a reference point with which we will be able to place the profile when we paste it. Then activate the 3D window and turn on the visibility of the 3D work plane. This makes the placement easier. On the Edit tab, select the Paste command and place the baluster profile in 3D. Then select the Revolve 360 degrees command from the 3D commands on the Drawing tab of the ribbon bar. From the Profile Editing options that appear on the ribbon bar, choose the Closed Loop command and click into the first curved part of the profile. The program automatically recognizes the contours. Determine the axis of rotation and the solid is created. Repeat the same steps to create the other solids of revolution. The cuboids between the curved parts will be created using the extrude command. This command allows you to create a 3D solid from a closed profile in the perpendicular direction. On the ribbon bar, choose the horizontal rectangle command and draw the first rectangle. From the extrude commands on the ribbon bar, select the height setting and enter the elevation height. It should be 80 mm. Repeat these steps to create the other cuboids. When you are done, move the three cubates 40 mm down to fit the curved parts of the baluster in the middle. Then select all the elements of the baluster and turn it upright. From the material library of the design center, select the suitable wood for the baluster. Use the drag and drop method to color all elements. Select them one by one and move them slightly to the side because the profile from which the baluster was created is still in the middle and we do not want that to incorporate in the object we are going to make. To do this, select the baluster and on the interior tab from the single object commands, select the new object command. In the pop-up dialog, enter the name and category in which you want to place the new object. If you open the object library, you can check if your item was actually put where you want it to. Draw a slab with the slab tool. Click on the railing command with right click to set its properties in advance. On the Primary Balusters tab, use the Object Selection button to search for the baluster in the library. Set the bottom of the baluster to zero. Finally, on the last tab, set the vertical shift of the handrail to adjust the height of the balusters and set its material to the same one used for the balusters. As a last step, we save the newly created railing to the library.
finally placed a railing on the recently drawn slab.